Major Slack videos. Yeah, <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Shut up, Pee Wee. Okay. Well, yeah, my name is Major Slack. Thanks for joining me. This is Wolfenstein 2 of the New Classes. This is a Roswell Mission Part 2, and we're going to get the supercharged upgrade for the diesel craft, or otherwise known as the grenade launcher, to demonstrate how to stealth kill a heavy with a grenade launcher. We're going to launch out five grenades there and another five there and let's plunk out one here just as a distraction and up we go and we can watch the whole thing this heavy is going to patrol down this way and another grunt's going to appear here come out check out the grenades get a little suspicious but otherwise ignore them so wait for it wait for the heavy to go just past the grenades and boy a base <laughs> that heavy really flew and we're still in stealth mode Check it out. Signal detected. No problem. Let's plunk out another grenade there. There's two more grunts um, in this area. Let's see if we can sucker one to come over here. There he is. Boom. Let's plunk out another one. Now the elevator is coming down, so we have to work quickly. So let's just like count to ten. Three. Four banana. Five banana. Six banana. Seven banana. Eight banana. Nine banana. Okay, I don't think he's going to come. Okay, so we're going to have to stock him down because, like I said, the elevator is coming down and we don't want to take too much time because I have another stealth plan. There he is right there. ba -boom. There we go. And there we go. Okay, hey man, you need to shove that nuke right up in their filthy Nazi nerve center. The Oberkommando is situated at ground level directly above the cavernous vault with all that alien shit inside. You gotta haul your ass on up there, baby. I hate that when NPCs interrupt you in the middle of a stealth mission. Okay, now the elevator's coming down. You can see it up there. There's um, another heavy and two more grunts on the elevator. We're gonna do the exact same thing. We're gonna stealth kill the heavy with the grenade launcher. Let's load up another five shots. This time we're going to stick it right on him. Instead of laying a trap, we're going to stick it right on his back. Yes, you can get away with this. This is nuts. The grenade launcher is a fantastic stealth weapon. Do not underestimate it. So we're just going to wait right here behind the pillar. You want to do that because they can see you from the elevator. So you got to take cover. Now, if you're lucky, the heavy is going to spawn on this side. If, if not, just wait for him. He didn't spawn on this side, so we're going to have to wait for him to come around. Just wait. Listen for the footsteps. Here you hear it. Wait for it. There he is right there. Okay, so we're going to peek up and stick those grenades right on him. Boom. Ba-boom. We're still in stealth mode. <laughs> and now all we have to do is hunt down the last two guys. And this will clear the entire bottom platform and remain completely in stealth mode and then we can have our way. We don't have to like, you know, remain completely stealthy as we go up the elevator. Which is a solid strategy, but I prefer to have like, you know, a break. So let's just grab this here. I like what I like to do now is go to the back of the platform because that's this is gonna give us the best vantage point to, to stealth down the last guys here. So we got some mist in the way. I like to go past this to get some maximum visibility. Okay, right around the corner here. I just want to see if somebody's there. If not, I'm going to back off a bit. This gives us a pretty good vantage point on the whole area. And they normally can't see you. Slide right over right here. This is the perfect position to watch. There's a guy right there. Let's just hide the throne. That's the quietest way to kill him. One more. I hear him coughing off to the left there. Okay, careful, careful. There he is. <laughs> and that's it. The area is now clear. There you go. We pwn this place. It belongs to us. <laughs> yeah. 
So there's the power of using the grenade launcher as a stealth weapon. The diesel craft brick, yeah. Bet you underestimated that bugger. Now um, we have this whole area to ourselves. Yeah, have a little break so we don't have to like go on this lengthy stealth run all the way up to the top. We take our time, let's look around, get some goodies, and then continue on our merry way. First of all, um, there is... Just notice there's another... Is that a yellow crate here? No, it's not. Okay. Yeah, first of all, there's always a laser rifle here. So let's grab this and use this to open up the yellow crates. I believe there's only two in the entire area. I could be wrong, but these are the only two I'm concerned with. These two over here. Open those up. And we got ourselves some health right there. 100 health. Got some pistol ammo here. And there is some diesel ammo. Right over here. If you look on your map, you got three ladders. The ladder to the south is the one you're going to. Yeah. Go to the ladder to the south. Drop down that hole. And grab yourself some more diesel ammo. That's all the diesel ammo that I know of in this area. That's it. So we're as full as we can be. Max pistol, max AR, max SMG, max shotgun, and almost max glue bomber. Let's go max out our health. Let's go overcharge our health. We can grab that 100 health I just showed you, plus all this food here. And boy, these Nazis sure do like their American food, eh? But what do we got here? Apple pie and rib steak, French fries, pretzels, bacon and eggs. Hamburger. Yep. They sure do like their American food. Okay, 100 health here. And. There we go. Maxed out on health. Let's go take the elevator up. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot something. What are you doing, Slack? How are you going to get back on the elevator? Uh oh. How am I going to get back on the elevator? Uh, I believe there's a switch over there to bring it back down. Yep, there is. But we won't be using that. You won't? Nope. We're going to go down here. And if you need some armor, you got... Bam! 100 armor there. And... Huh. They got an opening here. As if, like, it's inviting us to go out there. Let's go out there. Ah! Oh, wait a minute. That must be the dot you should safe keep set was talking about. And what BJ is blathering away about is that there. But yeah, you can use the elevator track to run all the way to the top. Which I much prefer. Because when you take the elevator up, it just leaves your arse hanging out in the breeze there. Like right in the middle of everything. So this gives you cover. Okay, so you got nice cover here, and you can get right back on the elevator here, like this underneath it. Go across here, turn to the right, use the jump button to clamber over here, and jump down here. And we can use this ladder to get up on their ice. Let's do that now. Now, ideally, we want to get climb the ladder on the other side, but there's always a guard there. So I'm going to show you how to commandeer that ladder over there. First of all, we got to take care of this guy here. You can always shoot this guy right here, right in between. He won't see you. Headshot. And just wait here. And you're waiting for a guard on the other side. There he is, okay? We're going to wait for him to patrol back that way. When he does, we're going to make a beeline for the other ladder. Okay, we're going to drop back down and run for the other ladder. And he's going to be right at the top of that ladder. And we can do a combat takedown on him. He's going to be right up in our face. We'll be able to take him down before um, he can sound the alarm. He'll be right in our face. So just jam on the takedown button once you get to the top of the ladder. But first, we have to make sure he's in position. And then over there is going to put us, put us in the perfect position to stealth kill the heavy. In this area is one heavy. And there he goes. 
One heavy and five grunts. Say so run. Run. Go into stealth mode. Climb the ladder. Get ready to jam on the takedown button as soon as you get to the top. There he is. Always bricks every time and just go over here and hide here. Load up your glue bomber. Load up five shots. Peek up. Let the heavy have it. Slide over here. And hopefully that took care of him. I think it did, yep. Now I'm just going to wait until they go back to their regular routine. So you got to watch the subtitles. Huh, no, nothing here. Even though their heavy just got blown to smithereens. And I forgot to load up on hatchets down at the bottom. That's okay, I still got three. Wait, patience is a virtue. He's gone, there we go. That's your cue. Everyone's going back to his break they're going back to the regular routine. Okay, great. This guy this is perfect. Let's do a hatchet kill on him. Let's slide over here. There's a guy over there, but we gotta watch off to our right there. Right here. Got him. And now we can go up and take care of the commander. He's right around the corner to the right. Aim your pistol. Get a peek out. Do a headshot. That's it. Now I like to load up my AR with the scope. Just in case they heard something. And it looks pretty clear. So now, SMG, dual wielding, let's go wipe everybody out. to Papa. Come on, who's a good bad guy? Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> Anybody else? Got me a nice nail gun. It's to do some carpentry. And one thing I've noticed about this area is it tends to once you take down the commander, it tends to disappear some of the grunts. If you do a body count, I believe there's five, five grunts and a heavy. Let's count the bodies. One, two, Three. Oh, I got all five. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Look where the heavy landed. <laughs> Boy, you really flew air slack, didn't you? Okay, now, um, this guy here always has. Wait a minute. Here. This always has diesel fuel. So if you're looking to refill your glue bomber, and this one down here always has diesel fuel. Okay, so now you're full up on glue bombs. Let's see what else. Yeah, we're full up on everything. We're full up across the board. All right, uh, that's not the weapon I want. Yeah, it is actually. Everything's good. Way to continue is right here. Let's take a look at the map. That's not the map. And the way to continue is marked there. There's a checkpoint. It's just around the corner and to the left. So 
Once we get into that area, two more commanders to deal with. Got some armor over there. I forget if there's any health here, but it doesn't matter because we're gonna go like totally stealth by the time um, we go loud. Any health that we picked up will have run out. Alright, so this is it. First commander is off to our right. You wanna take him out quickly. So you want the Nazis to leave the warhead alone once you planted it, right? Well, what you gotta do is place it in the Oberkommando's nuclear reactor. That way, the Nazis won't be able to track its radiation signature. They won't find it, they won't disarm it. I really wish they wouldn't do that in stealth games. Okay, so... I'll explain everything afterwards. Just do what I'm doing. <laughs> this is a very difficult area to stealth. And it, a lot of it depends on timing and taking advantage of timing immediately upon entering their area. These guys have eyes everywhere. Oh, took a wrong turn. The guy on the platform is the guy to watch. This guy here. If he turns and starts coming down the platform, gun him down. In fact, sometimes it's worth just a wait for it. Got him. Okay, let's continue over here. Because he will always bust you. Now you got we got a red bot off to my right there. Sometimes the commander actually sees you, so you gotta go quickly by here. He's got like binocular eyes, it's nuts. You gotta sneak up behind this red bot. Do you hear me? Now we go out, go after the commander very quickly. Go after the doggy and cut him down. That's the best way I know of doing this area. And like I said, it depends on timing. Um, taking advantage of the timing as soon as you enter the area. If you wait, everything screws up, and then you got to deal with a different strategy. Okay, so let's try to finish off the area. Doesn't matter if we go loud though. But whatever you do, dual wield something, whether it be the shotgun, the SMG, or your assault rifle. And the rest of the guys are up there. <laughs> Still stealthing, can't believe it. Let's get away from the, the blow-up shit. Just in case the stray bullet hits it, hits it. I almost stealth the entire area. That's the best I've ever done. Typically, I, everything goes loud as soon as they take down the second commander. Okay, I don't have a kill count on here, um, on this area. But I think that's everybody. Why are you whispering slack? Immersion, baby! Immersion! <laughs> okay, I think that's it. And this is it. This is like, before you open the reactor, be ready to rock and roll. Okay, so, haha, uh, boned your ass. Um, armor. First of all, before I forget, final weapon upgrade. Definitely want to spend it on this baby here for the strategy I'm going to use next. This is a ne really heavy part coming up next. Okay, electromagnetic upgrade for the hand grenade. Extremely useful. And armed thusly, we're going to take down the Ultra Mega Super Bot that's going to spawn as soon as we plant the bomb. I wish I knew the name of these Ultra Mega Super Bots. 
We're gonna lay a massive trap for him right here. He's gonna spawn right here, okay? So this is what we're gonna do. They have five bombs here. Another five bombs here. Another five bombs here. Now we could lay the final five bombs along with this and try to destroy him completely, which may or may not work, but I think it's a lot more tactical, uh, tactically advantageous to try to take out as many soldiers that are going to spawn with the super mega bot as possible. So let's lay a, a bomb on these explosive containers. Just make it, <clears throat> pardon me, total hell for them. Fourth bomb here. And this is where we're going to start off right here. And I always find that the first soldier that is able to get through everything comes at you right here. So that'll be the last bomb that blows. So that might take care of him like that. Right? So that's that. Um, armor back here. And let's refill. health right here from the diesel refilling station 40 health here and 100 health here so that'll max you out now this is what I'm gonna do can't you just lay another 20 bomb slack no you can't the game will only let you lay 20 bombs at a time so let's say I were to lay another five bombs here the first five I laid will disappear all right so it doesn't work like that so you only lay 20 bombs at a time uh, now this is what I'm gonna do Gotta hit two switches. Open the reactor, and this is the switch that sets it off. Okay, let me explain what I'm gonna do, because I'm gonna be busy. As soon as you hit the switch to plant the bomb, get a little cutscene, and the super mega freaking bot spawns there with a whole bunch of bad guys. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna watch for him to come through. As soon as he advances after the door is open, we're gonna be like in peak mode, okay? As soon as he advances, throw a grenade there, like aim right at the Nazi symbol, that'd be perfect. It always lands, always sets him perfectly. Aim right at the Nazi symbol, throw a grenade, he gets like um, electrocuted, and then blow your bombs. This will really screw him up. It may even kill him, right? Meanwhile, um, you're switching over to your assault rifle, dual wield. First guy is going to spawn there. That bomb may or may not take care of him. Make sure you kill him. And then you're going to rush over here. By that time, if the guy, if the bot is still alive, throw another bomb here that will like um like electrocute him again and then go at him hard with dual wielding assault rifles and that should finish him off at that point reload and you're running down here you're gonna take cover and use this as cover to finish off all the rest of the guys and you should be able to clear the area and then have your command of this entire area once again so that you can refill before you move on all right that's the plan Let's do it, and we're gonna refill on, or overcharge our health before we do all this. So looking for the diesel craft work, refilling station. It's right there. Okay, so 40 health, 100 health. Let's go for the switch. I'm arming the warhead now. You may want to bug out of Roswell before this thing goes boom. Far out, brother. Far out. I have my guy City Hall sound the tornado alarm, evacuate the whole town. Now look for an exit and get the hell out of the blast zone. I'm almost done clearing out Mission Control. We'll meet you at the rendezvous by Galveston. Done deal. Okay, it's game out. Rush up here. Slide, get in sneak mode. Peek up. Peek up. Wait. Wait for him to take a step. As soon as he takes a step, throw the, the grenade. Peek up. Gets electrocuted. Blow the bombs. Run down here. It destroyed him. Great. Take cover here. And blow everybody away.
Okay, there's still a few alive. It is possible to clear this area though. Okay, I'm switching over to the uh, SMG nail gun. Try to spread my ammo around. someone. Let's just shoot this thing. Make sure I don't get caught in it. Be calm. Look for movement. Slack. Look for movement. Okay, I'm going to switch over to my glue bomber. It's in instant blow up mode because I'm dual wielding. Let's just go around and finish everybody off. Here we go, here we go. Get some. Now the best thing about hanging out here and clearing the area is that guy gives up a ton of armor. Plus you get to refill and everything. Another strategy you could use is just use your electromagnetic grenades and just stun them and then just run past them, although that has varying <laughs> levels of success. Because it's pretty hellacious down here. you got to have a pretty good barrage set up to get past them. I prefer to just take them down. Okay, so I think it's clear. Let's go ammo up. my situation. Use a little bit of everything, okay. Let's bust open a few boxes. Okay, so we got full up assault rifle. Could use a little more SMG. Oh, I didn't know there was health here. Okay, so I'm going to poke around a little bit off camera and get ammoed up, and I'll see you on the flip side. I am ready, Freddy. Full up across the board. That is it. Coming up next, Escape from Roswell. I want to thank you all very much for watching. See you next video. Hey guys, because of the risque nature of Wolfenstein 2 and YouTube's new advertiser-friendly policies, it's going to be difficult to fully monetize a lot of these videos. I'm already working for less than minimum wage with all the time and effort I put into creating real walkthroughs, so doing Wolfenstein 2 basically means working for peanuts. If you enjoyed these videos, I'd appreciate it if you went on over to my Patreon page and made a small donation. Thanks a lot. I really appreciate it.